Today is a great day for nudes, but this is not actually my target for today. So I came up looking for these nudes because I want to see one of their biggest predators, and that is a two-striped garter snake. I haven't seen one yet this year, and I do have some spots where I find them pretty regularly, but it's not that much fun to keep going to the same old spots. So I came to some place that I had seen these guys before, but I haven't seen any snakes. So today is all about a snake chase. So this area is pretty gorgeous. I mean, just look at that view. Now, fast moving streams like this are generally not that great for newts like this guy, but he was in this section of the water where it is a bit slower moving. I was not really expecting to see him there, but I'm glad I did. Anyway, time to put him back because we have a snake to find. Bye little fella. All right, no, uh, no snakes yet, no frogs, but we're still finding newts. Here's another one. So I know it's hard to see. Still finding newts. Well, this hike is definitely gorgeous and we are seeing more newts, but it's just been like one here, one there, never, I have, I've yet to find like two in the same spot yet. But I have a feeling that once we start to find a group of them, that maybe the magic is gonna happen and we're gonna get a snake or a frog or something else to spice up the day. All right, this is a good sign. We have another newt. In fact, there's another one swimming out there. But this is cool. Look at that. Those are some newt eggs. And I mean, I'm just gonna back up for a little bit and look at how gorgeous this place is. But I have a feeling we may start finding some more newts and some more abundance, which might mean it's a good sign for something else. So, Let's, uh, let's take a closer look at that egg sack and let this guy swim off. Oh, sorry buddy. So check out those eggs. They lay them in little clusters like that. And so you'll often see like a bunch of these floating around if there's an abundance. But it might just be this one. I haven't seen any more. And honestly, oh, that, to take that back, there's one right behind it. Didn't notice it. Oh, there goes the newt. Wow, this is a really cool shot. I didn't even realize the newt was coming by. Well, I'm enjoying this waterfall. I figured I'd tell you about the Schechter Natural History Guide to Reptiles and Amphibians. Some of you may already know about it, but we produce a mobile field guide so that way when you're out in the field, you can identify what you've seen. And in fact, this year we made some nice updates to the newts here, the California newts and also the rough skin newts. Those species are very, very similar. They're very difficult to tell apart and we added some extra key field marks there to help you differentiate. Now, we're in Los Angeles, we only have the California nude here, so we haven't been looking very closely, but if, but if we go up north on some of our Northern California adventures, we'll get both and we do need to identify them up there. But be sure to check out the app, just search for reptiles and amphibians in the app store and I'm sure you'll find us. We're done with the nudes, we're on to a different spot and we just walked up upon a nice Baja California tree frog there. We've got two types of tree frog. This is the one that has the black mask. Um, and also the blotches on the back are more elongated. Tatiana is going to try to grab it and uh, give us a closer look. You get it? Yeah. Okay! That's the little guy. Nope. Oh. He's a, there he is. Look at that. These ones are nice. A lot of the ones in this area tend to be fairly brown. Uh, Tatiana posing for a picture. Um, they tend to be fairly brown. I don't see the green coloration as much as I do in some other areas, 
Um, and he's got some nice brown colors on him and, and more like sort of gray rocky colors. Yeah. So, neat, uh, let's get right up and close. There we go. Hey, right, little, little guy. Thanks. Oh, there he goes. We'll just be hanging out there. All right, no snakes yet, but a little bit of evidence that we might be in the right spot. Check it out right here. That is some snake skin. Um, no idea how recent the shed was, but it means that there are snakes in the area. Oh, here's a, a little bit more to that shed up here. So, kind of cool. You know, good, looks like a, a good sized one too. Uh, you know, a good adult. Hope, I think it's a garter snake because that is of course what we're looking for. Uh, in this little uh, stream system. In addition to frogs, there are a lot of tadpoles here. Uh, these are small, all dark. These are probably toad tadpoles. I'm almost certain that these are western toad tadpoles. Uh, and you can see all those little black specks in the water. There's certainly a lot of them. No adult toads yet, but they're probably not too far away. Um, even more over here. but. Hopefully we can find a snake and another to another um, another frog to show you. All right, we just got our other species of tree frog right here on this rock. Let's uh, hope it focuses a little bit better. There you go. You can see these guys are much more sort of rocky color. They blend in a lot more here. Sometimes they have little spots, little like dark spots on their back. This one doesn't. But you can see that he does not have that distinctive dark face. He's, it's much uh, much more sandy in color. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. This is our second species of tree frog. Woo! Well, here is our another really close look at the California tree frog. He might hop away while we're filming, but oh, there he goes. But you can see he really is the same color as the rocks. And uh, We'll just kind of let him continue to, to hide from us. You can zoom in. You can see he's still there on the rock, but yeah, much more sandy in color. Doesn't have the same sort of pattern and coloration as those Baja California tree frogs do. And so this is just an excellent uh, to see both of these frogs in this same creek. So many toads. The ground is just crawling with toads here. These are all California toads, although we may have some tree frogs in the mix. If I, if I spot any, I'll let you know. But just like, it just is amazing. And, and just, um, just over here a little bit, there's just so many. Just look at how quickly they just all move out of the way. They're just all clumped up here. This is great food for garter snakes, and I think we'll have a chance of finding uh, one today. But just look at them all go. It's like the ground is moving. It is unbelievable how many there are. <laughs> look at the size of this garter snake. Oh, this is a full grown adult and it smells awful. It is must us. Me. You can see some of its poop there. But look, look at that. So one of the cool things about these garter snakes is they do not have a dorsal stripe down the back. Instead, they just have the two stripes on the side and then these nice little blue specks. Um, they can be bitey, um, but this guy seems to be pretty chill at the moment. So, but this, this is the snake we were looking for. They do eat the newts, but out here, these guys are feasting on toads. And like we just showed, there are plenty to eat. I had a couple more garter snakes in there, although they are starting to go away and they're all gone. But there were three right in that little area there. All right, one more garter snake coiled up nice, right and nice, but he has spotted me already. And just like that, they go off into the grass. All right, one more garter. Now this is our 13th garter that we've seen. And now I haven't filmed very many of them because they take off right away. And you can see he's already lifted his head uh, and he is very much on high alert 
ready to take off as soon as we get a little bit closer. But this one's a, a good sized one. Nice. But yeah, I'm not even, I didn't, I just moved to the side and you can see he's periscoping a little bit more. It's like he's unsure, are we gonna get closer or not? Should he take off? He's still considering it. But we'll leave him alone because we've seen so many already today. Well, this beautiful area is where I turn around and I head back home. Look at this. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History. And I'll see you in the field.